Hey Sagittarius, it is CJ here. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome back. If you're part of our family, of course. I hope you're doing really wonderful, Saggy. How are you feeling after that new moon in Libra yesterday, as well as the solar, solar eclipse? Did any of you guys go see it and look at it, watch it? It's cloudy where I was, so I wasn't able to see it at all. Um, but feel the emotions and feel the energy for damn sure. <laughs> Thank you, as always, for all of your support and being here. You mean so much to me. I, I love you and adore you. I feel a little bit heavy right now, Sag. I've got to be very honest with you, as always. Um, just from my meditation, um, I don't know what's going on personally, obviously, for you. Um, but a little bit more of a melancholy energy coming in today in this reading. Um, so I don't know what's going to come up, but I just wanted to share that with you. If my energy seems a little different to you, it's just because of the energy I was feeling. Almost kind of felt like I could cry. Um, personally, nothing's going on right now in my life that would add up to me feeling that way. Although, you know, the moon, the new moon, I mean, I guess we all could be feeling that. Um, let me know if you've been feeling that way too. Um, what else? If you'd like a personal reading, obviously all that information is down below. I always forget to say that. Um, love to connect with you if you wanted to go deeper on anything. And we're going to get into this reading here, Saggy. Um, so when I was meditating, oh, I, I, I don't, I'm kind of like, I don't even know how to say it. Sometimes I str struggle with words and obviously if you've been here um, with me throughout the last couple of years or a year and a half, whatever, um, you'll know that this happens to me. Um, I'm a pretty emotional person, right? I'm a Sag rising, I very much identify with that. But I'm a Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon too. So, um, you know, I tend to kind of be a little bit more of a sponge. So anyway, Sag, when I was meditating on your energy, I didn't get specific words or anything. It was more of a feeling, but also the image, image, feeling, hmm, how do you put that? It was waves, like water, um, waves. And um, even as I'm saying that, all of a sudden my, my solar plexus are feeling a little weird. And it was like Spirit was giving me this, this guidance for you to go with the flow, right? To not swim up river. And the way they were making me feel it is, you know, if you've ever been blessed enough to be around the ocean, maybe someone lives by the ocean, um, and specifically it felt more the ocean. Um, you know, sometimes the waves come in um, when the tides come in, and it's a beautiful, gentle wave, right? You know, nothing crashing, nothing crazy, a little foam that you can kind of walk on, that white, beautiful foam, very kind of cleansing, relaxing, comforting. That's how I feel, um, and that's what I was receiving. But then sometimes, you know, you can be at the beach and... Um, the waves come crashing in, right? And if you get too close to the water's edge, sometimes the waves can knock you on your ass, right? Um, so there was this energy of, and I don't know what it is, right? I, I don't receive all of it all the time. It was this energy of kind of ebbing and flowing between it, but it felt a little bit more drastic than that. Um, how can I put that spirit? It felt to me that some of you are going through, um, or some significant uh, shift is going to be upon you Maybe not today. Maybe it's already happened. Maybe it will be as we go forward as these readings are timeless. Um, I do try to do dailies for you. Um, but the energy, I don't know how to explain it. I hope, I hope you'll understand what I am saying already um, because I am in channel mode. It, it was this feeling of calmness, but then the harshness, right? Um, so I don't know if that's what you're actually experiencing. I'm not sure if that's what Spirit was trying to communicate to me, that you are one day it's feeling really grounded and beautiful and safe, and then the next day it's feeling... Um, you know, just very rough waters and unstable. But the energy that was coming through was about kind of like trying to ride the wave. Um, right now they're giving, okay, they're giving me an image. Thank you, Spirit. This might help. Um, if you've ever um, had one of those floaties, you know, skinny little Dollar Tree, Dollarama, whatever kind of, wherever, whatever you have those dollar stores that you, uh, you know, they're plastic and you blow them up. Um, they're not very big. They're only probably about this wide. Um, pretty long. And you can kind of lie on it, float on it, whatever. Um, even in, when it's very wavy out there, you, you know, if you use your arms, you can kind of keep yourself upright, right? You can balance. That was the energy that they were giving me of... Again, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be telling you that everything is going to be fine because um, everything is going to be all right. Um, but it was more like just kind of owning whatever is coming towards you. That's what I was receiving, Sag. So again, and also the other part was is that I do feel that some of you are very, very exhausted. Um, obviously, mentally, I think um, you probably have had a lot on your plate in some way. And there is this need for you to get a little bit more rest. I know that sounds kind of silly, but at the same time, it, it was a pretty strong energy of 
Listen to your beautiful body, Sag. If your body is saying you are so tired, please make time to go to bed earlier or, or have a nap, however it can work for you. Um, it felt like you're going to need a little strength, okay? That's, I'll put it that way. Okay, so other than that, that is what I've received. We'll see where this is leading us, all right? So thanks again for being here. Let's get into your reading, Sagittarius. All right, Spirit, please show me clearly what this message is for those Sagittariuses that is their reading. I'm just going to move my bracelet. It kind of felt a little stuck there. And let's get started. I am using my divine, um, divine animal deck to open up. So let's see what Spirit has. Okay, let's see what's on the bottom. Okay, we have Jaguar. This is releasing. Um, it's number nine. So nines for me usually mean coming, you're, you're at a point where you're coming to a completion. Um, I'm going to blow my nose, of course, again. Thank you for all of you <laughs> that shared with me that you're going through the same little kind of sniffles and the sore throat, dry throat, not sore throat, I don't have a sore throat, dry throat. Thank you. Um, thanks for letting me know I'm not alone. What the hell is in the air? That's what I want to know. What the hell is in the air? Okay, Sag, getting back to your reading here. It's number nine, right? Yes, you can have the nine of cups and the nine of pentacles. It's very positive energy. Nine of wands, nine of swords. That's more of an anxiety, more stressy kind of energy, more um, worn out energy. In this case, because it is release, releasing, being nine, this does feel a little bit more of a heavier energy. Um, the jaguar is talking about either you releasing something or someone or you are being released. Um, okay, that's what I'm picking up right now. Okay, pretty strong. Look at the colors on that, hey? Beautiful. Almost feels like the sun is booming out from the back of the uh, Jaguar. We have the bull, Max Sagittarius, it, and that is about sacrifice. Okay, and it is number 40, so it's a four. Fours are about foundation. Um, security, you know, um, something that is very solid for you. This is indicating here, again, they're not giving it to me What if this is you or the other people or person involved, but there's a lot of sacrifice that has been made is what I'll say. Um, even if you look at this, there is lightning bolts all across the sky. And if you look at the very bottom, you can see there's a person, hopefully, let me hold it with my right hand. Hopefully you can see there's a person standing there. They're actually creating electricity with their hands. They're standing there and they're shooting electricity up to the sky, which indicates to me that there's something that has been really, um, perhaps even pissing you off, Sag, okay? Let's put it that way. Something that's making you angry, um, something that is is pushing you to the limit. Um, again, could be a person. We'll see more when we get into the tarot. We have the rhinoceros next to well. 32, it is about moderation. So what did I just say? Pushing you to the limit. And the rhinoceros represents, well, obviously, rhinoceroses are very powerful. Um, they're known to be short-tempered. <laughs> Let's put it that way. So the fact that m moderation is showing up here, it does indicate that the Spirit is saying, again, that go with the flow. Try to ride the waves the best you can. Um, it's number 32, so it's a five. So that could be talking about some change coming in for you. And we have the dog next. Haven't seen the dog for quite a long time. <clears throat> excuse me, ironically, well, okay, they're giving this to me, ironically, because there's lots of different animals in this deck, every one of these animals, jaguar, bull, and rhinoceros, as well as dog, they all have four legs, I'm not sure what, okay, thank you, spirit, they just corrected me, so four legs, <laughs> excuse me, excuse me, Saji, four legs, like this table, they're going back to the foundation, um, these cards are representing your foundation. Again, this could be at work. It could be in your home life. Um, but it is about what is solid that you can rely on. There's something that has been testing you. Um, and it could be a partner, right? Again, it doesn't have to be romantic, but it could be a partner, a business partner. could be a co-worker. Of course, it could be a lover. It could be a you know, marriage. It could even be an ex at some point because this is about companionship. <coughs> um, okay. <clears throat> and because if you take a good look at this card there is a dog and there's a person um, they are standing on what is a dog's head it's shaped as if it's land as if it's a cliff coming out of the mountain but it's not if you look closer there's a dog's eye here and there's a nose I'm wondering if this is something about not being able to rely on another person or something um, and there's a need to release. This is very interesting. Can you see? You can probably see there's that dog. Trees growing up. Okay, without going any further, they don't want me to go any further. So let's see what this is about. 
All right, Spirit, please show me as clearly as possible. Thank you for guiding me in this reading for Sagittarius. What is this about, please? In a way, I almost feel like someone's leaving. It's a strange feeling. Someone has left. Someone is leaving. Hmm. Is it you? Show me clearly, please, Spirit. Get a card. Oh. Wow, that's way too many. Way, 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 way too many. We've got a stack. We're putting these back. Um, yeah, I'm not going to even look at them. Okay, Spirit. There's, there's probably about six or seven cards there. Okay, can we get a couple of cards, or even one, please, Spirit? What is the message for Sagittarius, our beautiful fire sign? I'm doing this on October 3rd, 2024. Nothing's coming out. How interesting. I don't know if you've, if you've been here long enough, you'll see that when I don't take a huge stack, usually it takes a while to get another card out. Um, very interesting. We have the Raven, which is news on the bottom. 23, number 5. You may be receiving news on something here that releases you out of feeling like you have the whole world on your shoulders, Sag. Again, remember the cards, right, um, that we just had, that it, we did have the sacrifice. So... We need to keep going. Okay. All right, Spirit. One card. And I will shuffle until they get until we get a card out, Saggy. So feel... F well, we just got a card out, however that worked. Um, I was going to say, feel free to fast forward. Yeah, we have the wolf. Authenticity is number 17. Again, the wolf, the dog, you know, um, the rhinoceros, the jaguar releasing, and then the bull. Now we have the wolf. So, office, authenticity. Eights from here about the life path that you're on, that you've been on. Um, okay, so the wolf. This is talking about you being able to be authentically who you are in some way right now. I'm feeling that in er an area of your life, you might have felt like you had to um, kind of disguise that a bit, Sag. Um, I and I'm not getting why, but that's a feeling I'm, I'm receiving here. Almost like, okay, so... It's like if someone really pissed you off or kept pissing you off and you had to keep making sacrifices for them, for whatever reason that is, it feels like you have kept your, your anger, whatever, under wraps. Maybe you've had to bite your tongue. Maybe you didn't want to, um, what am I hearing here? Apple cart, not flip over the apple cart. Okay, spirit. There's something that you have been not been able to be completely 100% authentically you. Could even be with the family. This card is about now stepping into your authenticity of who you are. Um, being who you are unequivocally without any apologies. We have the cat on the bottom. So this is all about your intuition. It's number 37 that is a 10. That's a wheel of fortune or the magician, right? When you reduce it down to a 1. This is an energy of following your intuition, listening to the inner guidance system of you. Um, of everything that your part is telling you. Something that has been trying to... Um, something that's been, okay, something that's trying, been trying to, I feel like there is, it's almost like your intuition has been trying to tell you something, but yet I'm not sure if you've been able to follow it. Why is that? Why is that? Did I show you the cat? Let me show you. Because look at this cat, right? There's two black cats, and then there's what looks like a cat, but it's actually a mask, right? There's, it's someone, something wearing a mask. This definitely is feeling very wild because it's feeling like you've had to wear a mask in some way. Um, like sacrificing again, okay? Because they're showing that to me. The sacrifices that you've had to make in your life, in whatever area this is, you've had to, um, for whatever reason, almost act like things have not been too heavy for you. Do you I hope this is making sense to those of you that this is your reading. It, it, it's almost like, okay, you know, there's something drastic that has happened, but everyone else might be falling apart, but you're like, hold on, I got this. I can take care of this. I can organize this. I can plan this. I can, you know, and everyone else is like, oh my gosh, that's so great. Sash can take that on. But meanwhile, inside, you're like, I want a break too. I need a shoulder to, to lean on. There's something going on about this in this reading. And it's definitely is feeling connected to the sacrifice to the bull as well as to the jaguar of releasing. Okay, and I did get that feeling of someone leaving. Um, I don't know how else to explain it. Someone leaving, someone, okay. 
which may free this all up. And, and now they're saying lone wolf, right? Okay, so, you know, wolves do, they are in packs, but there is the, the lone wolf that is on its own. Okay, I don't want to stay too long on this. I want to get into the tarot. Um, we're going to open up with my fountain deck. It feels like the right deck for today. Okay, Spirit, thank you so much. Okay, we have the two of pentacles on the bottom, Sag. So pentacles is our earth energy. So that is our money, our resources, but also Sag, it can be talk about self-confidence as well. Um, confidence, esteem, etc. Two of coins is saying that you have been juggling. There has been something that you have had to juggle and you have not been able to put down one or the other. I'm not even really getting this as a choice. Usually twos can talk about choice, you know, a decision that has to be made. I'm getting here that, and again, this is the water. Okay, thank you, Spirit. They just were like, look at the water. Um, again, this is something that I almost feel was put upon you. Put upon you. Some responsibility that was put upon you. I'm not saying that you didn't agree, but I do feel that as time has gone on, it has gotten heavier and heavier burden to bury. To carry? I said bury. Okay, don't know why. Right, okay, so look at the water, right? It's starting to get pretty choppy there. We have the strength card. Not surprised, oftentimes in these readings, it feels like there's a lot of Leo, and I don't know if it's just because it's a counterpart fire sign, but Leo's card showing up again. The strength card, needing your strength, needing your... I almost heard, I'm hearing determination in this reading as well. You know, you haven't dropped the ball. Um, but something's changing that is allowing you to be authentically who you are. Okay, the strength card. We have the Knight of Wands next, Sag. I read this card as you. Um, Knight of Wands. Kind of like at that where you're able to be carefree and you're able to do the things that you love to do and you're able to be spontaneous and you're able to like live your life the way you're wanting to without having all of that responsibility or as I felt burdens on you. And then we have the emperor wanting to take control, needing to, to be in that position where no one's making decisions for you and you're not having to do all this stuff for someone else. It's where you are leading. Um, feeling like this is about family for some reason, but okay. So that's Aries card, which is I am. It represents the first house I am. Okay, so I am with authenticity, right? It's almost like you haven't been able to be authentically I might be repeating myself, forgive me if that's the case, I am channeling, but it's almost like there's been something in the way of you being able to be, I am who I am. Okay, spirit, wow, show me what this is about, please. Let's get some cards on the table. All right, let's begin. For Sagittarius, for those that this is their reading. What is going on for Sagittarius? Oh, gosh. it's a lot of cards. But we're going to take them. We have the Ace of Wands on the bottom. I love the Ace of Wands on the bottom. Ace of Wands, your energy, Aries and Leo. This is fire. This is passion. This is action. This is a new start in those areas. Again, connecting with the authentic authenticity, if I could say it. I don't know what's going on, Sag. It feels exciting. It feels good. But it also feels a little stressful. Um, and I'm not sure why, but Ace of Wands coming in is like this new, oh, wow, um, a brand new beginning where anything that's been on your shoulders, anything that you've been having to swallow, anything that you've been hiding, it is clear. You have a fresh start. Sag, I say, oh, wow, because we have the Fool next. So the Fool is the first major arcana in the tarot. It is a beginner. It's the Fool's journey, right? So this is the beginning stages of a brand new, a new path, a new journey. Something has changed. Something significant is changing here. We got the Ten of Swords next. Air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sag. This is that heaviness that has been going on. It's usually, in my experience, probably in yours, Ten of Swords is that painful, painful, never, it feels like never ending um, cycle that just doesn't close. Well, now it is closing. It is the end, but it has not been easy. And the fact that it goes Ten of Swords to the Fool, to the Ace of Wands, 
Um, also, Ace of Wands is my yes card, so it almost feels like you're taking a leap of a leap of faith, but you are beginning a brand new path um, in this world. Is what it's feeling like a new direction, a new way of living your life. Could be a new job, etc. Right? They're not giving it like that to me. So um, let's see what the cards are. Well, we've got the Knight of Wands, so some repeat cards showing up. So again, this is where you're headed. Or where you're getting back in touch with. We have the Emperor. All the same cards. We have the two, the two of Pentacles. Putting it backwards here as it was. We have the Strength card. We have the Knight of Cups. Holy cow, how many cards do we have here? Oh, wow. We have the Knight of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We have the Two of Wands. So there's that choice. And we have the temp your card, Temperance card, showing up in this reading. Okay, I'm going to ask them to guide me how to set this. Hmm. What a weird, this is weird how they're guiding me. Okay, okay, Spirit. Sag, this is so bizarre. I don't only get guided to put cards this way. I thought I heard a squeak. Okay, this reading, very interesting. I feel that there is, um, is there competitiveness here? There may be somewhere in your life, because we got your card, Temperance, that's you, Sag. We got Leo here and we got Aries. Isn't that interesting? All three fire signs showing up here. Um, I'm almost at a loss of words here because this feels either it's you and another person, could be two people involved here, that there has been pressure on you or in some way that you've not been able to be authentically yourself. You have been juggling, um, but yet it's been keeping you away from being connected to you, being connected to what you love. You have two nights here. This is um, in cups is our emotions, our relationships, our love, our heart, our, you know, um, our heart space, all of that. There's been something that has been keeping you from being able to connect with that. And I'm wondering if that is another person here because it is quite obviously that we have all the fire signs showing up here. And the way they got in me to put it was over here. So this is going to be interesting. And then we have the two of wands. So to me, it feels like you've been juggling. Again, it doesn't have to be a fire sign. It feels like you've been juggling yourself against even maybe maybe what people expect of you. Maybe that's what it is what people are expecting you to be, to do. And here you are going, well, I'm not even sure which way I want to go. Do I want to keep doing this or not? Because the world is in this card, right? And the world represents the ending. Yet we have the Fool card here, which is a new beginning. Um, we're going to leave the cards just like that. I want to get a few more out here and see, go deeper, because right now, um, this is it is feeling that way to me. It's feeling... It's feeling odd. Okay, Spirit, can you give me more cards here? Show me more of what the... Give me a bigger picture here of what this is going on here. Um, let's go next to the Knight of Cups. Three of Swords. Three of Swords. Okay, we've got the Six of Swords on the bottom. Moving away from what has been very painful. I want to go a couple... Bear with me here, Sash. So Three of Swords is a very painful situation. I need a few more cards, please, Spirit. We have the Knight of Coins underneath the Two of Coins, okay? Knight of Coins, Two of Swords, you've got three cards of twos, right? Head over heart, head over heart, okay. Sadie, feel free, for, feel free to fast forward if you want. We've got the Four of Cups underneath the Strength card. Leave that there. We got the world popping out here. We got the seven of uh, seven of uh, wands here at the bottom, which is feeling like you are you have had to feel defensive. You have had to protect yourself. You have had to probably, um, yes, yeah, Sag. There's something about you having to kind of almost be. I don't want to put it this way because you're very you're beautiful and you have so much going on for you. There's something here that you've had to kind of almost pretend not to be or something it's something like that um and again that's why i'm wondering is there other people involved here okay can we go one more please spirit what else 
What else, please? Show me a little bit more. Thank you. The Nine of Cups right underneath your card. Okay, I just want to make sure nothing else flopped out. Flip, flipped out. Queen of Swords on the bottom. Okay, let's make some room here. We're going to just leave the Two of Wands over on the side here because this is indicating that there has been, either you are or there has been, um, you've been at a place where you're not sure what the next direction is. Um, again, this is feeling very more um, internal to me. Um, feelings, I feel what, I, what I'm getting here is it's almost like there has been opposing energy around you. Again, I, this could be other people. And um, there's been a lot of heartbreak. There's been a lot of disappointment, even to a point where maybe it has almost devastated you. But yet you have not quit. You have not stopped putting your energy into whatever this may be. Um, but it's been a long time because we got the two of coins and underneath is the knight of coins. This is the slowest knight in the deck. So we got three knights showing up here. Knights are the movers and the shakers in the tarot. But the knight of coins is the slowest knight in the whole deck. Usually it is because they've crossed their, their T's, they dot their I's, they don't move fast. But in this reading, Sag, I feel like you have, and, and the thing is, is it, I just realized it is in the center here, you know. There, you have been juggling for a very long time, is what it's feeling like. And almost like when I go over here, it's almost like perhaps any time you have tried to take the lead, to be your authentic self, to make the decisions that you know are the best, for some reason it has backfired in the way that you end up getting hurt. That's how I'm reading it here. I'm not even they're not even asking me to look at these at this moment and then when we move over here to the strength and the four of cups it, this is a situation I don't know what this is I don't know if it's you with two other people um, I don't know if it's I don't know if there's been someone else in because I'm getting this feeling like you and maybe another person and someone is over here um, and this but, but bottom line here is a mess it's like you have been going through this for quite a long time we have that four of cups underneath the strength card which is saying like you're like is this ever going to end is this ever going to stop? Am I ever going to be authentically able to be who I am and live my life the way I want, have my own home, not have someone tell me how to live my life or how to... I don't know what this is. It feels convoluted. At the same time, it makes sense to me. Then we have your card that follows by the Nine of Cups. So temperance is all about patience. Staying grounded, staying centered, even when chaos is going everywhere around you staying centered and, and believing that everything is going to work out for you. It's also like, you know, the third wish fulfillment card for me. The star can be one as well. The fact that you have the nine of cups underneath, it does indicate that you are going to be receiving your wishes, what you have been wanting to come true. But there is a need, Sag, because we have the queen of swords on the bottom. Again, our Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There is a need now to kind of almost remove any niceties. Okay, that's how I'm going to put it. Authentic, this card over here keeps making me feel like you're being gentle. If someone's an asshole around you, someone takes advantage of you, you might have been biting your tongue, not because you're nervous or afraid or anything, but you just don't want to rock the boat. Maybe there's a situation, again, this could be even a work situation, right? Where it's with coworkers or something. There is a need for the truth to be expressed and then the truth to be said. Queen of Swords is all about that, right? She holds that sort of truth, but she also is... Not a, she doesn't mince words. She says what she needs to say. This is all about honesty and authenticity. Okay, so and then we have even the ace of we have the ace of coins next, which again is a brand new beginning to walk down. I feel in the earthly realm. Over here is interesting because it it, it okay. Wow, this is big spirit. Um, the knight of wands, as I said, I feel that that is you. Uh, you know because you are. The adventurer, you're the spontaneity, you're very spontane spontaneity, if I can speak here. But it's almost like there's been blocks put in your way. I usually love the emperor, but I'm getting a different vibe from that because this could be a boss, or this could be someone that's higher, like higher position than maybe you are, if this was about work. If this is personal life, it does feel like this is someone that is more bossy, more um, kind of my way, the highway. When we look at the Knight of Cups, which is all about where, wearing your heart on your sleeve, being falling in love, being open with how you feel. Then we have the Three of Swords that's like stopping you from being able to be vulnerable. 
And then we have that two of wands over here, which to me is almost like this is it. It's almost like there's two different, two different paths. And I don't know if they're yours or if this is representing another person and another person. Okay. Um, hmm. Let's see if we can get some clarifiers. Ultimately, Sag, being you and pushing through whatever this may be, whatever you've had on your shoulders, they gave you that bull, right? Representing the sacrifices that you have been making and the release that's coming towards you. It does bring your wish fulfillment. Okay, I'm going to go into Wild Revelations. Very strong reading. Okay, what? I just want to see something. What is this card? Groundedness, Armadillo. This is again like getting grounded again is what I'm feeling. Something feels like it's kind of... It's almost like you have been knocked off. Kind of knocked off of who you are. I, I don't know how else to put it, Sad. Anyways, we have, look at, let's move on. We have the fool once again. So I definitely feel that this is all changing for you. The fool, followed by the six of cups. Interesting. This is, again, our water energy, but this is usually speaking of our past. Breaking away from the past. Breaking away from someone from your past. Someone that's been in your life for a while. We have the magician next. Beautiful. You having the power and you having your hand in whatever this is, the way it is unfolding. The Knight of Wands once again. The Three of Wands. Movement. Moving forward. So no longer the Two of Wands actually moving on, moving forward. And then we have the Eight of Cups moving away as well. So Oh my God. And then we have your card, Temperance. And then we have the Ten of Wands. Okay. Okay, let's see what spirit will give us for clarifiers. All right, let's see. Where do we start here, spirit? Can you show me a little bit more here about the Three of Swords and the Emperor? Can you give me more information, guidance for Sagittarius of what this is about? I feel like we're now moving this way. So, okay. Can you show me more? Oh, it was going to jump out, but it didn't. The Emperor, once again... Yeah, I, don't, I just, I'm going to put it back. Is someone competing with you for a, a um, I don't know how to put this in words. Is someone competing with you, has been competing with you, um, to have more power over you? I don't always get that with the uh, emperor, but it's coming through. Okay, we're putting it back. Okay, spirit, could you show me as clearly as possible? What the, th okay, thank you. What is it? The Eight of Swords, yeah, okay. And the Tower. So, clarifying the Three of Swords and the Emperor is the Eight of Swords. This is an energy of feeling very, very stuck, feeling like you don't have any power. Which in some way has broken your heart, broken your spirit. And I'm just trying to figure out, and I guess you'll know if this is your reading, if this is about another person that's always trying to be the boss, or if this is every time you step up and um, take the lead, something happens here. I feel like it's about someone else involved, though. I do. So Eight of Swords, feeling stuck. Feeling like you cannot... Well, when you think of the Emperor, the Emperor rules as Empire, right? usually fair and just, does what's right for others, right? So why does that keep you stuck? And then the tower. Well, the tower is saying that there's something, there is, I feel that there's something coming through that is going to significantly change the course that you are on in your life. Okay? Let's ask about strength and the four of cups. What is the strength in the four strength in the four of cups? So again, some of you may be dealing with an Aries, you may be Aries, you may be dealing with a Leo. The four of pentacles. Wow, man. The four of pentacles, the seven of wands, and we've got what is this? The five of cups showing up too. So 
Clarifying the Strength card and the Four of Cups is the Four of Pentacles. Again, there's this energy. Four of Pentacles is holding things to yourself um, tight, you know. Um, if this is about some kind of money situation, for example, it would be not enough. It's a lack energy. Almost like every time you try to do something, again, remember the word authentic, right? Every time you try to do something very positive, it's almost like it gets almost taken away from you. And then we have that seven of wands on the bottom, which is, you know, feeling like you got to be defensive, that you got to protect yourself. Okay? Okay. So, Sag, I have to leave it with you. I don't know if these other en energies around you or if this is, like, just life, right? What is happening here. But, <clears throat> um... It just feels like there is something big that is going to happen that is going to shake this all up. And again, it's, it feels like it's allowing you to come back to who you really authentically are, Sag, which is such a beautiful, beautiful soul. Big heart, very strong, very intelligent, capable of doing anything and everything. That's where I'm kind of like, why has this felt like this reading feels like it's been taken from you in some way? Okay, let's see what the Two of Wands is about. What is this Two of Wands? To stay or to go? Hmm. Can you show me about the Two of Wands, please, Spirit, for Sagittarius? It's weird because I'm finally getting that feeling. Two of Wands, please, Spirit. As long as go this way, it's kind of awkward too. Shuffle that way. Two of Wands. Can you give me insight on the Two of Wands? And now the deck is like, no. What's the Two of Wands? What is this choice? What is this? Unsure of. Okay. The Three of Pentacles. The Ace of Wands. Oh. And the Two of Cups. Wow. Okay. So, Two of Wands. Let's start with that. Again, your energy, right? So two of wands is that contemplative energy. Do I stay in this? Do I change it? Obviously, this can be talking about do, do I stay doing things the way I have been or do I come very clean and um, say everything that's on my mind, my heart, and be as authentic as I possibly can. There's two different ways here. We've got the three of pentacles, which is can be talking, again, about you and two other people coming together, right? Collaborating. Um, making things work. The Ace of Wands. This feels like a brand new journey on your own. And then we have the Two of Cups that was on the bottom. Or you being staying where you're at with whoever you're at. <laughs> this is going to be very different for every single person out there that's listening to it. But it does feel like that is a choice. Do I start new or do I stay where I'm at? And only you'll know what that is going to be. And again, listen to that intuition of yours. Um, something is getting shaken out that is going to bring you back to who you truly, truly, 100% are, Sag. And again, I'm not saying, if, if you're like, I I know who I am, and this is, it's just not your reading, my love. It's just not your reading. This might only be for a few people. Um, okay. Um, let's see. All right, Spirit, so let's move on to Temperance and the Nine of Cups. Thank you so much for guiding me. Is there anything else you would like Sagittarius to know um, regarding these, these two energies here? Remaining patient so your wishes come true. All that you've been desiring happens. Oh, it went in. If it wouldn't have went in, I would have taken it. Okay. What, why is the Temperance card here with the Nine of Cups? Can you give me a little bit more, please, Spirit? Okay, that one won't go in. Oh, we got two. We got Justice and we got the Six of Wands. Wow. With the Three of Swords on the bottom. Okay. Three of Swords on the bottom once again. So obviously, whatever this has been, I don't know what it is. They're not giving details, and that's absolutely okay. There is this energy that you have had to play a role or, or overextend yourself in some area of your life. I do suspect it is more about your home, family, kind of energies, because it's feeling kind of close to the heart. 
Um, and it has been very hard. It's been very hard with that Three of Swords, right? But the two cards that are coming out, as this is a shift that's happening, as you, maybe some of you have already done that, maybe there's been a very serious conversation where you held your ground and you didn't tolerate um, any more kind of taking of your energy. Something like that about coming through here. Anyways, it brings the Six of Wands, Sag, which is victory, right? Celebration, being seen, being acknowledged, being heard, be, being applauded, really, with the Justice card. And we just had that new moon in Justice in Libra yesterday. Everything is going to balance out for you, along with your wishes coming true. Okay, so... This feels very interesting. I, I don't know what it is about. I, I don't know. I'm feeling like there's you and th two other people involved. Could be more. Might not. Um, I'm not even pulling on here because to me the knights are, this is what you want to be doing and there's been blocks is what it's feeling like. That you will be removing by being, again, who you are. Well, okay. Um, that's where we're going to close this reading off, Sag. If it's yours, I hope it made sense. Again, they're just saying with that two of coins, you've been juggling this for a hell of a long time. And it's been pretty damn hard. So the wave, right? Okay, so <laughs> they're bringing that back. The calmness, then the, the crashing of the waves. You have tried to go with the flow. Let's put it that way. You have tried your very best. Now it's time for the truth to really kind of be exposed. You say it, stand shoulders back. And all in that, because it almost feels to me like spirit is saying when you, because you know, sometimes we do that, right? Sometimes we hold our tongue, we ignore things because, well, we don't want to, um, we don't want to hurt someone or we don't want to upset the apple cart, as I had said before. Have you ever found that when you do that though, sometimes things just kind of get a little bit more contrast. There's more things than you have to deal with. <coughs> this feels like getting it all out there. And then it's like you get rewarded for your bravery, for your courageousness, for you standing up for who you are. Okay, so that's what we got, Sag. Wild reading, very, very wild. Um, I do hope it helped those that is, this is your situation. You're headed to where you have wanted to be. And that justice card, no joke, major arcana. Yeah, okay. Um, all right, Spirit. I think we're gonna go to Moonology messages, see if there's any advice. Let's see, okay. We have moon memories on the bottom, the past. Well, we already know that the past is part of this because we had somewhere along the line the Six of Cups. Okay. Howl at the moon, process your feelings. Which is pretty much as just the same as like acknowledging who you are and being not making any apologies for it. Okay, Spirit. Is there any piece of advice or guidance you can offer? Beautiful Sagittarius. I don't even know what to call this one <laughs> at all. Coming home to you. It's kind of what it feels like. Is there any message in Monology Deck, please, Spirit? Do you have any card? Any message? Hmm. It's really very quiet. Take the lead. Maybe the moon has nothing to say. Hmm. And Sag, I got another hair falling off me. Every day, baby. Every uh, Truth. The truth. Okay. I'm going to go three times. One. Two. Okay, thank you, spirit. That was... Kind of looks like it almost stuck in the air for a moment. Night moon, shadow work. Yes, okay. So this is really all about that whole energy of working through why you, what, working through what has kept you from, you know, again, not to repeat myself, my love, but being that authentic self. And when I say that, I'm not saying you're not authentic, but there's something here that has been kind of kept under wraps, which I feel has been a sacrifice for you. So working through that, acknowledging it, seeing it, and then letting it go, like releasing it like the jaguar. And on the bottom we have reach for the moon, which is go for it. 
So again, you had to also take the lead there at the bottom um, a few minutes ago. So go for it. This is the time. This is the time I feel for you to really even set your boundaries, right? This is it. This is who I am. This is what I'll take. This is what I won't take. I'm releasing all the other stuff. Okay. Um, I think we'll let you go there. Uh, I'm not sure if there's anything else. I don't really feel anything else wanting to come out, Saggy. So here, we, here it is. Stand up to whoever you need to stand up to, is what I want to say. And you will be richly rewarded. Um, I want so much to put my arms around you and hug you because I don't know what the hell you've gone through. But the fact that Three of Swords have shown up twice, um, I don't know. I just feel like, yes, you have made a hell of a lot of sacrifices for someone or something for a long time. Now is your time. Your time to shine. Okay, Sag. So that's where we're going to close your reading off for today, my love. Thank you again, sweetheart, for being here. I adore you. Um, for those of you that are going through this, just know it's, oh, I just heard the word a reckoning. Hmm. Okay. So in some cases, this is you standing up to someone who does not want you to stand up to them. Okay, Saggy. You got this. All right, my love. I'm going to send you huge hugs. Mm, lots of love and kisses to you. Have a beautiful day. And, um, just take the lead. Take the lead here. All right, Saggy. Hope to see you again sometime. All right, sweetheart. Until next time.